Okay, and guys, we're back to the next video. This time we are going to be looking at the Akasar Alicia H6L. This is a low profile air cooler. Okay, so this is the Alicia H6L. This is a low profile air cooler, and this is at 50% fan speed. As you can hear, it's barely even noticeable. This is 100% fan speed. Yeah, it's noticeable, but it's not very loud. Right, so when it comes to the H6L, now this CPU cooler has a TDP of 140, uh, 150 watts, so that's literally on the cusp of my 5900X, so I did not want to enable PBO, anything like that, because it would thermal throttle. That isn't the whole point, this is just to see if this would work in, well, for a 5900X. Well, for my normal run of benchmarks, it's in a bench, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW and uh, 3D Mark CP test. For the Cinebench R23 run, the idles are 35 Celsius with a max of 70. Blender Classroom, the idles are 35 with a max of 79. Blender BMW, the idles are 35 Celsius with a max of 77. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 35 Celsius with a max of 73 Celsius. Okay, and so what did you think? Now, I think for a, a cooler that has a TDP between 140 and 150 watts, I think it's actually not bad. It performed well. It's got six heat pipes. The overall aesthetically, it looks it does look beautiful. I like the aesthetics. The blue fan, I think it's a nice touch. It's got nice six heat pipes. It does have a coal plate, of course, like like any other. But of course, this one isn't a shiny coal plate. It's just basically ground off. Now, I didn't have any problems with the mounting, but of course you will have to remember that the mounting mechanism on this, you have to uh, actually install the mounting brackets first, and then you've got to actually uh, use the back of the motherboard and screw in the screws that way. That's the only niggle I'd say, because there is a risk of actually over-tightening or trying to over-tighten and breaking something. Or you can mangle the threads up on the screws that you use. But of course, that's just a nitpick. It, what I would say is the actual um, screws did actually just go, they did go all the way down and they stopped. So at least you wouldn't have to worry there. But there's always a risk there. So you have to be careful if you do buy one and you do install it. Please do not try over tightening it. Because if you do break the threads or you damage the screw and you can't get it off, you'll be t taking a Dremel to it and, yeah, ruining it. So... You know, other than that, I mean, I think I, I like the actual over, overall cooler, the design, the blue, definitely different. Like I said, the installation's not bad. It does have a height of 67 millimeters, so it's rather, rather small when it comes to the height range. It's a basic uh, low profile air cooler. It will fit and it does look really nice when it's installed. But like I said, that is a problem. There is an issue, of course, with the mounting. Make sure that you do not try over tightening because you could risk damaging either the cooler or the motherboard from over bending. So just be careful if you do manage to pick this one up. Now the installation, like I said, was easy, it was straightforward. It says in the manual, it's r rather easy. I do like the fact that I'm actually starting to open up now to coolers without RGB. I think that. It does aesthetically look pleasing. And if you have got this kind of color range, then maybe it would be for you. But that's really up to you. And I'm really going to actually leave that up to you. Now, I have got another air cooler here from them. But it's even smaller. It literally is smaller than the Intel stock cooler. It is tiny. It's about that big. It's dirty. And yes, I'm going to put on my 5900X and see if it does at least cool it down to on stock settings. So, look, don't forget to subscribe because I've got thermal right stuff here ready in my test bench ready. I've got more stuff coming. I've got, another, I've got a budget P2 
PC build coming. And also I've got stuff coming from A-Pacer. I've got a Gen 5 2 terabyte drive and some 32 gigs of DDR5 6400 megahertz RAM. They're coming as well. I'm also at Tech Max this week, so make sure that you subscribe because I will be uploading content from that as well. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. This is Richard from Welshie Tech. Good. Bye.